Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of Kingdom Living Series and the Kingdom Living Bible Study Course. And today I'm really excited because today I'm going to share with you uh, a supernatural encounter that I had with the Holy Spirit um, on Saturday, I, or Friday night, I, it was this weekend, I went to a women's retreat and I was really, really blessed in the fact that these people uh, Linda, uh, Linda, I forget her last name. Oh, here it is. Um, women's conference here. <coughs> Kelly Parrish, Linda Budd, and Angela Stevens. <coughs> and it was awesome. They're gonna have them once a year. You gotta go if you can. If you if you're if you're tired of church just sitting in the pew and listening to a message and going home and being the same person, then you need to go to something like this. You need to belong to a church where the Holy Spirit is moving, where they allow the Holy Spirit to move. And if you're not in a church like that, you need to know how to do that at home. And I do it at home and other places. Um, so anyway, this is just so awesome. The, Holy the whole New Covenant is about having a relationship with the Holy Spirit having a relationship with God through the Holy Spirit uh, the New Covenant and I say it talks about this is a new covenant I will make with them my spirit that I will put on them and the words that will, I will put in their mouth and that's what my new book that's coming out around Christmas time is all about it's all about walking in the supernatural things of God which is our new covenant and a covenant is stronger than a promise it can't be broken and that is exactly how God wants to deal with us he wants to deal with us in the supernatural because we have his DNA and we are supernatural beings we are the temple of God's presence we carry God's presence in this new covenant we carry God's presence his Holy Spirit in us when we lay hands on the sick they are healed because God's presence and power in us comes out of us and touches others when people touch us or our clothing just like Jesus um, as we build our faith and understanding to walk in this we begin to walk in it that as we touch other people or come in proximity of a room the atmosphere shifts the atmosphere changes because we bring in God's presence wherever we go and whatever we do and that's another reason that you don't want to sin is because when you sin it it pulls you back from your relationship with God it makes you the devil comes in and makes you feel guilty and condemned and shameful and worthless and it separates you from God and it's just like when you owe the landlord money you don't want to you try to avoid the landlord because you know you owe him money and it's the same way with God when you sin so as you begin to walk more and more in the supernatural presence and power of God you have visitations um, you visit heaven you have angelic visitations supernatural ins encounters and experiences uh, growing up people's legs uh, to heal backs uh, seeing uh, people raised from the dead and all that kind of thing as you start doing that and you walk in more and more power um, the sin falls off of you you, you, you just don't want to sin it's, it's, it's not in your nature no more uh, anyways to get back to uh, the encounter um, usually when I go to my old church which, which is the lighthouse and sometimes I go on Sunday nights um, I really am able to get into God's presence because that's one of the churches around here that really allows the Holy Spirit to move freely and that's really what the New Covenant is all about and that's what I love so much about that church that uh, it's only 10 minutes away and I can get into God's presence and into his power and Kelly and Jonathan Parrish are awesome in doing that and getting into God's power and they speak in Sunday evenings and oftentimes so these were the people that were leading this whole thing and when you get into God's presence uh, the word says that you get into his presence by thanksgiving and by singing even if you sing terrible like me I can't carry a tune so I prefer to get in God's presence by thanksgiving because I'm so thankful for so much so anyway, um, I'm going to show you short, some pictures and a short video clip of a fire tunnel, if you never heard of a fire tunnel, and what actually should be happening in all churches around, around the world. But it, it isn't because Christians tend to think that what they need to do is go to church and learn how to be a good person, and that's what Christianity is all about, and it's not. Christianity is all about having a supernatural relationship with God 
a covenant relationship, a family relationship with God. And as a result of that, your behavior will line up. You will have right behavior. Because it's when you fall in love with your husband, you're going to act right towards your husband. Your behavior is going to change because you want to please them. And the same thing with God. Well, I am what you call a Holy Spirit girl. I just, mm, I love the Holy Spirit. Jesus is pretty awesome. I really love Jesus and God as my Father, but I am a Holy Spirit person. I just love the Holy Spirit and one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things in the world is to get into God's presence, whether I'm drunk. And remember, the drunk of the world is a copy of the real deal. The high of the world is a copy of the real deal. When you get into God's presence, you will get high and drunk and laugh like you have never experienced in the world. You cannot get higher or more drunk in the world than you can with God because God has the best joy that there is. So anyway, I went to this uh, retreat and they taught some awesome stuff. And you got to remember that it's not just God's presence. The Word confirms what God says. The Word and, and it all goes together. But it's about a relationship, a daily relationship. And one of the things when we get together and we know we can move in the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit is to have a fire tunnel. And I love fire tunnels. And don't ask me where it is in the scripture. I can't tell you. All I know is that we will lay hands on the sick. They will be healed. That people tremble when they come into God's presence. People fall down when they come into God's presence. And that is biblical. And it says it in the Bible. And we carry God's presence. So when what we do is we line up on two sides and people walk between us and we lay hands on them and pray for them. And as we do, the power of God hits them because the power is transmitted from our hands because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. It comes out of our hands into their bodies. And the response is we shake, we get drunk, um, we get prophecy, we get slain on the floor, laid on the floor, and God talks to us, He deals with us, He plays with us, He gets intimate with us. And so fire tunnel is one of the most funnest things in the world. And so we had a fire tunnel, and I'll show you some pictures later. And I went through the fire tunnel. And usually when I go through the fire tun tunnel, some really strange, fun stuff happens. I begin to hop or jump or back up or just do crazy stuff. And I almost always get drunk when I go through the fire tunnel. And uh, I went through the fire tunnel. And I ended up getting slain on the floor. That means I get knocked out, just laying on the floor. I fall over. Not Nobody pushes me. It's just the, the, the glory of God is called a weightiness, a heaviness. It's like somebody pushing down on you. And that's why people fall over and get slain in the spirit. So the glory of God was on me. And I fell over on the floor. I was just laid out, stuck on the floor. I think it was maybe an hour. I'm not sure. And what happened in that hour is what I want to share with you. It was a supernatural encounter. And this is one of my favorite ones so far that has happened to me. You know, the Word of God says that come to God as a child. And, and what that really means is God wants us, children are purely innocent, they have no idea of the evil going on around them, they don't have preconceived notions about things, they aren't judgmental or critical, um, they aren't fearful, they just exist, they're just there, they're full of joy and peace and fun. And we forget what it's like because we get hear all these voices and have all these experiences that add up and make us into fearful people make us judgmental and critical and sad and all this other stuff and children aren't like that they're just totally innocent of all that so when I got slain on the spirit and I was laying on my back on the floor with my eyes closed and feeling the weight heaviness of God um, God came to me it wasn't that I saw his face it, 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 it's hard to describe when you have an encounter with God it's hard to put into words it's hard to explain and, and uh, well, what basically happened is he made me as a child again. I was a little child with my daddy, and I was just laying on the floor, and he was playing with me. Um, we were playing everything that you can imagine a kid would play. We were playing patty cake. I just had my eyes closed, and we were just playing patty cake. He was playing patty cake with me. We were spinning tops together and watching him spin. We were, I was playing with cars, you know, like kids do. I was in the car, me and God, where my daddy God was in the car, and I was sticking my hand out the window, and I was just going like this. You know how when the wind hits your hand, boom, you know, and it goes up and down in the outside the window. I was doing that. 
we were playing strings, you know, when you have your hands like this and you have yarn and you go like this and you go down and then the other person pulls a string and twirls it under and comes up. And we were doing that kind of thing and um, it was just so much fun. I was a little kid and I was playing with my daddy. God was playing with me. And, and, and one of the things that was really funny, when he was playing with me, I was a little kid. I was purely innocent, just enjoying him. I was going... <laughs> And, and making faces and just stuff that a kid does and enjoys and it was so much fun well it was so cool and when I just you know I just laid there for a long time and did all that and then he was like rocking me he was rocking me I just felt like sucking my thumb I didn't I just kind of felt like oh this feels so good and he's just rocking me real slow and gentle he's rocked me before and it goes faster and faster and faster than I can even move and it like almost makes me dizzy he's like stop 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 you're making me dizzy and then it's just boom collapse but this time it was just real gentle and real slow like a father rocking his child and um, when I woke up there was this beautiful little girl there named uh, Makeda I think her name is and she just asked me all kinds of questions and she just so wanted to get in God's presence and know about it and she's eight years old she was holding my hand and she was taking me back in line getting helping me walk back into line escorting me and she was just just like you could see the purity and innocence and the love of God on her it was just so awesome and she told me that while I was laying there playing patty cake with God and doing all this really cool fun stuff that all the children that were there were gathered around me and were watching me <laughs> now isn't that just like your daddy kids want to play with kids and the kids recognized that I was playing with my daddy because when I was playing patty cake I heard someone say patty cake you know and I heard things you know like once in a while like they knew what I was doing and it was like so cool God is so much fun so that is the supernatural experience and then I, as Makeda I think her name was as she helped me walk through the fire tunnel again I got slain in the spirit again and this time I just started crying because what happened was Jesus or God my father God showed me a Christmas tree and him and me decorated the Christmas tree we'd pick up the things until it was full that you could hardly see the tree it was so full of red glittery things and tinsel and everything you can imagine and then he took my hand like this like holding hands there must have been some angels between us too because he took my hands one hand here and one hand here and we danced holding hands circling the Christmas tree and that was so awesome. I just cried and cried and cried. I mean, how many people would like to have the experience of their father as a little kid taking their hand and dancing around the Christmas tree? That's just so cool. So that was my supernatural encounter that I had at the women's retreat. And, and when I started sharing that with other people later on in the next couple of days, I started getting drunk in the spirit. And that's what the, the scripture says that this... Uh, that the spirit of prophecy is the spirit of Jesus or something like that and when you tell something that Jesus already did then that opens the door for him to do the same thing for someone else because it's like a spirit of prophecy so I'm prophesying to you my friends my subscribers and friends and followers that your eyes will be open in Jesus name and you will begin to have supernatural encounters with your father and with the Holy Spirit and with Jesus on a daily regular basis that is the whole reason I've written all three of my books and run the fifth and sixth book and my Bible studies and all the other things that I'm doing I'm doing my daily blogs so that you can get on fire and experience the supernatural every day on a daily basis and and make other people jealous and want the same thing and you go out take my Bible studies and teach them how to get into God's presence how to walk in God's power how to experience it so my name is Robin Bremer net is my website and I just hope that just gets you on fire and gets you excited like it does me and I just hope you begin to experience the supernatural because that is my deepest prayer for you to know that you are forgiven and that you are, are, are walking in love with God that God loves you no matter what mistakes you make he's never going to leave you that you are saved you're going to stay saved and he loves you and wants to have an encounter every day with you so that's robinbremer.net 
watch my website get sign up on my website to get my monthly newsletter uh, get my books get what you can free on my website I give away a lot and I will talk to you tomorrow have a blessed day